Hello, and welcome to a walkthrough on the ALM process. We'll learn how to create revision tags, copy and archive a model, and then sync a model. Now on my display, you will see a model. It's a dev model indicated here, uh, or also known as a developing model. This is used for designing and building. And then we over here have a deployed model. Um, this is for end users and our user experience pages. Um, to identify a deployed model, we see this cube here, the arrow pointing upwards. And again, in a different location, we also see this cube with the arrow pointing upward as well. Um, these deployed models may also refer to um, as being in production. Now, having these two models um, separated allows us to introduce changes to the deployed model um, without disrupting business operations and the user experience pages. So we make changes in the dev environment before pushing changes to the production model. And we do this through the revision tags, the copy and archiving of a model, and then finally syncing a model. So going back to the de developing environment, um, we will see that we are going to create a change. Um, I've already created the change. I've renamed this model, included the asterisks with the one, two, three after this model's name, module's name, sorry. Um, and in the production environment, we can see quickly that the name is different. So back in the dev model, um, we will create a revision tag. Simply add a revision tag. I like to include the date as a reference point. Today is the 10th. I did want to save that. Um, and a revision tag is something that we will use to sync the changes from this dev model with the production model. Now it's important to note that the order of these revision tags um, matters. Um, with multiple revision tags, you see here, um, if you were to want to sync the changes, from just this revision tag down here that I have highlighted, copy model, you would have to only um, use this as your reference point. Since this up here is the one I just created and it's the most recently created one, if I were to sync this revision tag, all of the other ones that were created before it will also be included in the synchronization. So it's important to note that when creating revision tags, it may be advantageous to create revi revision tags um, often um, and periodically in order to have multiple points of reference um, when syncing with the dev model to the production model. So now that we've created the revision tag, we'll want to copy and archive the production model by going to this cog here. We are in the production model now. Um, we will copy and archive. Now, it is a good idea uh, because two models cannot have the same name um, to include the date in the name of your model and then go ahead and include the traditional name of the model as well. Then we'll copy an archive. This may take a few moments. Um, it's important to copy and archive the model because once we sync the revision tag to this deployed model, uh, it cannot be undone. So copying and archiving this model, it'll save a backup that can then be used as a reference if necessary. There's really no reason to not copy and archive a model because an archive model doesn't take up any space in the workspace. So it's best practice to copy and archive, but really it's more or less a requirement that needs to be done every time.
And so you can see it is now done. Um, again, that may take more or less time, just depending on the size of the model and how much space is taken up in your workspace. Um, but now we're gonna sync into our production model. So now that we are in our production model currently, we will go ahead and compare and sync. And just as a reminder, to get to that page, you'll come here to this settings cog. And then we are on our production model, we'll compare and sync. We see here our developed model. So we see that that is correct. So we will go to next. Um, and here we see our revision tags. Um, again, it's important to note that if I were to, if I'm going to use this revision tag, since it is the most recent revision, it will include this other revision tag down here as well. If I want to just include the changes from this one, I need to make sure just to select that one. But I am perfectly comfortable with both changes, so I'm going to select this one. I'll go to next. And yep, it notices that we are changing some module names. So we'll go ahead and preview the synchronization. Um, on this, we will want to change this to take the target model offline, the production model. We do not want it offline in this case. Um, if we change the target model to be offline, um, this will basically prevent end users from being able to access the um, production model until after we put it back online. Um, so in this case, we'll want to keep it online. Confirm, let it do its work. And so it says it's successful, okay. Close this. And do. now we can see from what we made here, those changes with the asterisks and the one, two, three, we now have here in our production environment. Now, in the case that we were to have accidentally taken that, unche not unchecked that box and have taken it on, or taken it offline, we can come here we can change the mode and we can change this selector from online to offline or offline to online, sorry. Um, just in case that, you may have left that box checked. Now it's important to also note that for non-formula driven line items um, in a module that they are not carried over. So for example, um, this status here, um, it's a selector. Um, and so these would not be carried over into our developed environment since it is not driven by a formula. And the reason is because they're intended to be user inputs um, in a production model. And so it doesn't carry these over. So just something to note as you're pushing things and syncing them to your production model. So I hope this is helpful and thanks for watching.